You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, the AfterBuzz After Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menunos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Homeland After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424 256 1729. That's 424. 424- 256-1729. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Homeland After Show. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Bing is for doing, and we are doing another AfterBuzz TV After Show for Homeland, Season 2, Episode 11, entitled The Healthy Jenna. <laughs> The motherfucker in a turban. There you go. I'm I kind of wanted to say that. Yes, I, I'm, I'm, thank <laughs> hey, you for that was coming in there. So I'm John coming for it. I'm joined in the studio by the very talented, please. <laughs> thank you, Jenna, Jenna Bush um, from Manhattan and Cocktails with Stan. And also Thaddeus Massey at Club Thaddeus. There you go. And uh, <laughs> helming the booth is Martin. Martin, say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. Thank hey. you very much. Martin. Okay. Great. I mean, we can cover a lot here, but I really wanted to just jump right in. Nazir gets to meet his 72 virgins. I'm very happy for him. <laughs> I Wait, congratulate it's, him. It's virgins or raisins. Oh, okay. Right. I, I didn't know that part. <laughs> there was some joke that some okay. comedian made. All right. So I, I, I'm sure he's known. He knows now. <laughs> Damn, I wanted the other. <laughs> All right, so. but <laughs> I wanted the raisins. So it was kind of an, an, an yeah, exactly, the raisins. <laughs> But it was a very interesting way. Uh, I mean, do, who thought that uh, he was going to go today? Or did we think that next week was going to be the big showdown? What did we think? I I mean, I don't think I I thought which one it would be. I think I thought the Brody was the big one for the finale. Mm-hmm. Not that I, I mean, obviously, I don't know if that's going to happen. Right. I'm just thinking if it's, I mean. Yeah, well, it is now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somebody's body is taking yeah. a head or off that boat. But Yeah, yeah. in a white sheet. In yeah. a white sheet. But don't, yes. I mean, we, we were just talking before, we, we think that's Nazir, don't you think? Yeah, I, I think it's Nazir because obviously they, they don't want to leave anything for, Yeah, they don't want to, you know, they don't want uh, another Mecca. Right, right, exactly. Like Bin Laden, place. burial exactly. at sea. Exactly, so we got to get rid of the body, mm-hmm. so we don't, don't. And also wrapped in a white, uh, white um, is a Muslim mm-hmm. tradition, so, yeah. of course, Brody's Muslim, so. I mean, but did they have to, I mean, who buried him? Who wrapped this? Who wrapped this? Well, they body? they always do when they yeah. they bury um, prisoners of war or you know casualties. They they always do it respectfully according they, to they the religion. They honor whatever the religion they are. Really? I don't think yes, they're we, being nice. I, I think they just want to make sure that he's not considered a martyr. So they do yeah. everything they possibly can so no one considers him. Yeah, that. they take that. You take that away. Yeah. So the, uh, that's not a reason for them to come back. At so you. it doesn't help. Yeah. The okay, got mm-hmm. it. All right, so uh, but sense. now, okay, we, uh, here, we're gonna start off with the beef because it drove me crazy when they yes. started. For, first of all, I thought it was great that they didn't find him right away and mm-hmm. they had to hold that intrigue about where is he and she's concussed, so to speak. <laughs> so she's not thinking very clearly, hasn't eaten or whatever, slept in a day and a half, so she's not thinking clearly. Unshowered. They gotta go find him, <laughs> <laughs> right? She did not I'm shower. I wash my face in two days, <laughs> <laughs> take a shower, so uh, and they can't find him anywhere. And, uh, you know, what part was great was that, uh, okay, to get to him, they got to get to Roya. But, uh, you know, okay, now here's my first piece. How the hell, first of all, she's just walking around CIA. She walked into the middle of an interrogation. Yeah, that, to one of the most important witness they have. I know. And she's and just like, Nobody's yeah, can, guarding her. I mean, yeah, the guy, and she can just walk and tells the guards to leave, and they go, oh, okay, sure, all right, whatever. Sure, no problem, Carrie. Yeah, she's, not, she's not even with the CIA. Right, well, look, I mean, we... <laughs> Here's the. <laughs> she's, she's not even an employee. No, I know. I think we're well, past that. We're I know, but it just, it just, just, just come well, on. Yeah, all right, so that that brings me to a point because right. I know after last week, and I know we addressed it last week, but right. last week's episode was really controversial with fans. There were yeah. so many plot holes and so many things that did not make sense, right. including the fact that a BlackBerry curve does not do video. <laughs> I, wow. I'm just saying. Wow. Um, but again, thank you for the catch out there, everybody. <laughs> I, I appreciate know. that. But but one of the one of the big things is that they're still not bugging his phone, and right. his whole discussion with Carrie yeah. about um, the fact that you know he did all of this mm-hmm. and he killed Vice like that on the phone that yeah. they're not bugging. Right, right. Mm-hmm. I mean, maybe they don't care because they're going to kill him anyway. But really, mm-hmm. really. 
So uh, they should have his phone should be bugged. Yes, his yeah. phone should be bugged, and that is. And it was bugged, and it's like, right. they, what they just turned it up. No. Yeah, that, so. we're we got others. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we have a number of followers that have mentioned the same thing. Yeah, yeah. and it's yeah. it's really it's and very rightly so, rightly so, yeah. because I mean, come on, you guys are really sharp. Don't don't drop the ball like that. Drives right. us crazy. Yeah, like don't don't make it a plot device. It's, yeah. Unless you're going to explain it, unless there is something yeah. where we don't have the manpower to follow him, he's going down anyway. Wow, right. it sounds like we got a caller. Oh. All right, well, patch him in, Martin. Let's hear what they have to say. Oh, what? Hope they no, the FCC ruling. <laughs> Caller, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, Caller, go ahead. Hi, how are you? Hi, my, hi, my name is Jamel. I'm calling from Brooklyn. Good go to hear Brooklyn. me. Thank you for calling. Oh, What's Brooklyn. up? What do you want to talk about? Well, I wanted to talk about tonight's episode. Um, I thought that um, first of all, I was I was like on the edge of my seat because yeah, uh, she, you know when she was um, dazed and, and gone confused. into the darkness, and then yeah. he was attacking people. I was like, whoa! I mean, it really it, it took me back, but um. I think that for me, the thing that I always have a problem with with the show is her fighting. Because I was like, I thought she was more like a book person. And when she started taking down people and stuff like that, that's sort of the only thing that I, you know, be thinking, oh, can she really do that? She's like, you know, that kind of person. So you felt that um, her, that was out of character for her to be able to fight in any way? Well, yeah, definitely okay. in the darkness. And, and mm -hmm. she took she took, she took a you know pound of flesh out of them. She did more work than other people. So she was really, you know, taking them down. But I thought tonight's episode was sad, you know, especially the the um, scene between Brody and his wife. Yeah. And I thought I thought that this, the way they filmed in the suspense, I thought that he's gonna get shot. Yeah. You know, yeah. in the car. I yeah. Said, oh, yeah. He's gonna get shot in front of the, in the you house. know, his wife like JFK or something. You know, don't yeah. don't do it in front of the family. Yeah. But um, so and then when they you know it closed with the two of them in the house and then yeah. the assassin is there. Yeah. And you sort of feel this looming doom. Yep. It was yep. sad. It was really a sad. Show. So you're feeling for Brody exciting, now, but it was sad. Were, were you? Uh, have you always been a, a Brody uh, fan, so to speak? So you you're kind of no. rooting for Brody. You no. feeling sad for him? <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I wasn't. I wasn't for the <laughs> film. Actually, I liked it, his wife, and I, uh -huh. I think that the scene that just She's mine, was so mind. big for me was yeah. the daughter. You know, she told <laughs> off the whole family. Yeah. And uh, she was like, I don't like this, and why are we? You know, I would think that yeah, if I was in that situation, I'd be like, I'm a teenager. I'm going through all these problems, and I done. You know, saw somebody die in my own life, and now I'm running around. You having to fear my mother's doing it. I'm tired of this. So I'm glad she, you know, she said what that, you know I probably would have said too if I was in that situation. That, that, that girl. Do you mean Dana? Speaking of Dana. Yeah, Dana, the daughter. Yeah. Oh yeah, well, yeah, when she told her from her father. Yeah, you listen. Yeah. Yeah. So you liked her telling off the family, huh? She. she yeah, she didn't. Okay. No milk was helpful. She didn't care about anything. She was like, <laughs> I want to go home. I want to live my life, and I want to stop all the CIA Great. stuff. And, yeah. then she, and then she dropped and spilled all the milk on top of that. <laughs> oh, yeah, she, she did. She was she crying did. over but it was spilled good. It milk. Was just, it was sad. It was just a sad... It was sad. It's a <laughs> nail-biting episode. <laughs> okay. It was. It was. All right, well, I appreciate you calling. Thanks very much. I hope you'll call okay. in again. Thank you, Martin. Anybody else want to call Thanks. in, please do so. Go, yeah. Brooklyn. The only thing I can think of in terms of her fighting skills is that yeah. she is CIA trained. Yeah, and you would so, hope she'd have some. Yeah, she would have to go through some kind of combat training. Right. And she's, you know, she's in pretty good shape. And also... And she has been in the field, so she would have to have more than enough training. Yeah, It's yeah. not like she's just an analyst. Right, so. right. That's what I'm thinking. So um, I, I, I did sort of want to applaud her a little bit there. I, want, I had actually wondered at the beginning of the episode if, you know, the last time she went through a trauma, the explosion, that's sure. what set her off again and made her go all bet. Wonky. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was going to say something else, but we'll go with wonky. Um, <laughs> I can only curse no, like please, that once already, in the episode. You've sworn, so. All right, we'll say bad shit. Yeah. So, um, ah. but, but I wondered if that was going to set her off again, and it did yeah. actually seem like it did because as she was driving home, she well, the first thing she did was reach for the pills, and yeah. you could see she was very unhinged. Mm -hmm. Not that anyone wouldn't be unhinged mm -hmm. after what she went through, but um, but it really was interesting to see that she she swung back and she just followed her instincts. Yeah, what I thought was most interesting to me is that she was wrong about Galvez, mm -hmm. and she was, what was the other thing she was wrong about? We don't uh, know that she was wrong about right. Galvez. That's not well, what we just yet. think. All right, well, I, I'm going to say she's, I'm postulating that she was wrong about yeah. Galvez, and yeah. she was wrong about Roya. Yeah. But still had that uh, inner awareness to go, wait a minute, he said this. And that meant something. He said, "Run." That means, and mm -hmm. that led to the whole thing. Right. Yeah. So, whereas you know, I I just like that she, they made her wrong a few times. Where sometimes they make her right for no reason. They just want to make her right. Yeah. And I like that they made her wrong or missed. They, she made a misstep, but still was able to find that thing that got her back to him to get to find Nazir. Yeah. Right. And you know, and I have to say, I did call it while we were watching. What the guy was a red shirt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the guy who was, the who was guard, hunting with her. Yeah, one of the military men. But here's the thing. Now that's another thing that just drove me crazy. Okay, so they they all go back down in the shirts and tunnels, which is great. I'm terrific. I'm glad. 
but oh, the rest of my team, we got separated. Oh, look at that. Right. How convenient right. to have just the two of us. Like, really? Yeah. Come on. How radio. many times have you seen that? Exactly. Okay. Oh, well, to give I, those I have a radio, but I'm not going to tell my guys, hey, we right. found something right. until after I search right. it along. Especially since they were talking while they were searching. I know. They're like, oh, hey. He's like talking to Carrie. Like, um, stealth. Yeah. Stealth. Yeah. Just making all kinds of noise. Yeah. And then, I remember they had already swept. The tunnels, so you got to mm -hmm. cut them some slack. They did, but once they're like, "Oh my gosh!" I know, but then when you find everything. something, don't you immediately go, "Guys, back hey, up. get back here! We found something. <laughs> we need well, backup." He, he yeah. Tried. Why he do tried. you not say that? The backup you have is a woman who doesn't have a weapon, and she's gonna hang back. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, what is she gonna say? Um, I don't have a sidearm. Yeah, exactly. Right. right. She, like, that's why he's a red totally shirt. Yeah. Because he's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I know he had lines, but he's stupid. Well, one, one of the things I wanted to mention, too, since we're talking about Carrie and whether or not she's wrong or right or anything uh -huh. like that, the thing that sort of stuck out for me this week is when she was talking to Brody on the phone, right. she covered up what he did. Yes. And un understandably, because he did it to save her life, but yep. still, she's always shown such drive toward, mm -hmm. you know, about Homeland Security and about mm -hmm. no matter what she does with Brody, yeah. her only focus in the end is keeping the world safe right. from Abu Nazir. And so, so, in a sense, she compromised she that. Did she compromised it yeah. um, because of Brody? And mm -hmm. like I said, I'm not saying that it's not understandable. Yeah, but it was it was a big turn for her. It certainly it was. was. And, and again, again, another great. I love that layer because yeah. now you can see that it's not so uh, black and white for her. That yeah. there is some area where she's starting to. And I'm not saying it's a good or bad thing. I just yeah. like, I think it's textured. I like that. Yeah, I did too. And I mean, even at the you know at the end when you see them talking and like yeah. you might have a chance and all of that. And also the moment where she looks at Nazir's body and starts to cry because yeah. it's like when you when you no longer have your enemy. The enemy. You, who are you? Yeah. You're defined by that. Now what? Yeah. So I think that's sort of an interesting turn for yeah. next season that they did actually take him down. As much as I love Naveed and yeah. I'm very sad that he's yeah, not on the show sorry, anymore. Naveed. But <laughs> hi Naveed. Yeah. But um, maybe he'll come back in flashback. Oh, he could totally do that. Yeah, I, I, I want him to work. Um, that would actually be great. It would. Okay. But I, I'm sorry to go back to this, but I, but I didn't finish it because I have to finish it. Why did the, the guys going down in the tunnel, wouldn't it have been fun, more fun, more interesting? Have all, Oh, they find it all together. Guys get back here. They go search it all together. They don't find him. And then they leave. And there are two it's of them are hanging one. back. Mm -hmm. right. Then you can have the same thing happen. It's not stupid. Right. I totally agree. Totally agree. Yeah. Yeah, that bothered that, that me. That would have taken so much effort in the room. Right. Yeah. Well, you know what? It was I'm, a little cheap, but you know what I'm curious work. about though. Mm. I, I'm trying. I'm. I'm wondering, and maybe you guys out there read something about it, and you know this, but at what point they were in the writing process when it was renewed for season three? I mean, they had Good to. Good question. Yeah, because I mean, it seems like starting with the last mm -hmm. episode. Everything is, yeah. the logic is just turned, and it's been so good for so yeah. long, and all of a sudden after last week, I mean, there were articles everywhere, including mm -hmm. one that I wrote, just about what the <laughs> hell. Nice. Nice. Did she, yes, she drop that in there? Did you see that? You you see what I'm I did sorry, there? I think you dropped that. Let me get it for you. There's Van also Hedden. After Buzz video in my article, just saying. Um, but <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You feel free to do that throughout the episode. Um, no, but I mean, there were, I mean, it was everywhere. People were talking about, ha yeah. has it jumped the shark? What's happened? Yeah. What the hell is with all of these plot holes? Yeah. So I'm wondering if that was the point where, like right before that, where they were renewed for the next season and they had to sort of change some stuff around. Or, or they started That's losing their writers to other things. That's possible, too. Because that happens the a lot. Mm -hmm. They got poached. Yep. That's true. Yep. Oh, good dang, now what? You know, yeah. So they're filling holes left and right. So if you guys know. They need more spackle. Let's put it down. <laughs> they uh, do need spackle. So guys, if you know, I'm, I'm really curious. So, but... Uh, but even that, I, I agreed with our caller about how, how suspenseful. I was also thinking that they were going to shoot him just as everybody got out of the car and the door closed. Yep. And he's just sitting there by himself taking, taking it all in. I thought for sure we'd hear the gunshot and it'd go to black. Yeah. Well, I was, I was kind of hoping the house was going to blow up. Yeah. Like, <laughs> the family in it? Yeah. Really? I really? Mean, just make it deep. I mean, <laughs> wow. It's dramatic. Yeah, well, I mean, think about it. You got yeah. a guy like... Abu Nazir. Right. I almost said Naveed. Sorry, Naveed. Yeah. We love, we love you, Naveed. They're interchanging. We love you, Naveed. <laughs> but I was thinking, you think about a guy like Abu Nazir, right. who has a million different, like, uh, backup Oh, so you think Naveed, B, B, Naveed planted the bomb, not the CIA. Exactly. That's what you were thinking. Exactly. Okay, I beg your pardon. Right. So, like, he has a backup plan. Sure, a Backup absolutely. for a backup for a backup. All these for contingencies. everything yeah. that might go wrong. Right. It would have made sense. I right. mean, he so did see him. I'm thinking the house him. would blow up. They haven't been there. Mm -hmm. So he could have had another one of his cells. Yeah, would have had plenty of time to do it. Something. Yeah. 
Yeah. Go there. They get home. Mm -hmm. Boom. House blows up. Yeah. That would have been very. Well. I mean, he certainly had that a, a plan. Nice. You saw him reach for whether or not he had a bomb, we don't know, but he yeah. was reaching for something. Yeah. Unless this is he was. Nazir, by the way. Yeah, unless he was martyring himself by looking like he was doing it. I think that's either it's way. death by cop, but it's death yeah. by CIA, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Either way, yeah. and I mean, they they had to they sort of had to kill him off. Um, and and you and it made sense. I mean, the way that she uh, Carrie figures it out with him saying he's not going to run and, run and all that other stuff, he's not going to go. He's not going right. to. He's not a guy that's going to get interrogated. He's not right. a guy. That's, yeah. Okay, sure. Take Take me in. Gas to private? Yeah. Jet? Back to yeah, I don't think the motherland. So. Yeah. No. So. He's there. To Besides, he's got 72 raisins waiting for him, so why it's not? It's true. It's true. And who doesn't want 72 exactly. raisins? Exactly. I, I, I love. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. I love how Roya played Carrie. Oh, that oh, was nice. Such a good scene. Hilarity. That was yeah. really good. That was really a great good. turn because yeah. I, I don't know. Did anybody see it coming? I didn't see it coming for a second. I, I wondered, I, but I didn't see it. Uh -huh. I kind of. Did you really? I kind of. Did I, I? I'm. I. Kudos to them. I was like, she's gonna turn. She's to gonna it. go back and say, ah, yeah, and that's what you just, did. And then she, <laughs> yeah, she, I wasn't that stupid. You I, that was like, I wasn't stupid and then she like goes, you. then she goes, bad shit. Yep. I right. love the way she was so crazy. Oh, she looked that was so amazing. good. Yeah, like, and she, that was that. Shout out kinda, to Zaleka Robinson. She did a good job. Yeah, yeah. that kind of. That kind of crazy to me was just as weird and evil and strange as Navi. Uh, I'm sorry, Navi Abu when he was talking about the hundred. You know, could take centuries, but we're gonna do it. Yeah, it's just as sinister, but no. Yeah, just a crazier way. She. I would like to see a little more into her backstory and what's motivating yeah. her. What we need to. You never know. We might see more of that and. Dara Dahl and Roya had a thing. Oh, I like <laughs> it. I like it. You know, I just have to say something here sure, because I, I saw Zero Dark Thirty this okay. week. And, you know, it's about taking down bin Laden and all of that. Yeah. Um, no spoilers. No, no. There, what? <laughs> it actually happened. I don't think there can be spoilers. But... Just about the movie, I'm saying. <laughs> oh, okay. But I, I just Not have to the... say, like, watching this show and then seeing that film. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think this, like, the film, and I know I'm, I'm in the minority here, but the film felt a little bit cold to me mm -hmm. after what we watch with this mm -hmm. and is that and uh, because I don't know this but is it because you're you're farther away from the characters you're not as, you don't know them as well what's the, I don't know. do you know why I think it was something about the way it was shot because it has Jessica Chastain in it who is right. absolutely brilliant yeah. and I love everything mm -hmm. she does I yeah, would watch her amazing. read out of a phone book but but I think there's just something about it, it was all tactics uh -huh. and, and I mean there was hunches there were hunches but you have right. a character like that who believes so deeply in her in her um, hunch it's very much like uh -huh. gotcha. But comparing the two performances and mm -hmm. how, you know, incredibly in depth and off center Carrie is versus this character who is admittedly not crazy. Um, I don't know. This just this homeland sucks me in a Jenna, lot more. I think you're just revealing you like to watch the crazies. I like the crazies. Yeah, what can know. I say? I mean, crazies on my TV. Well, Bring them on. Was there any love involved? <laughs> huh? Any love no. Involved? Any no, no love triangle? That anything? might be why it was a little cold. That's, it is possible. I mean, yeah, there was, and then of course you watch scene. Well, I, I actually don't want to spoil anything because yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's still it's still a very good you film. Go. There but, you go. That's yeah. what I just want you to spoil. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, before we get any further, we want to thank all of you who've been writing in and giving us your uh, ratings and your comments. We appreciate that. We're over three million downloads a day. Crazy. Okay. Yeah, six months ago, we were a million. <laughs> Daily. And it's because of you coming in and rating and commenting, downloading and telling a friend. We want to pre thank you very much for that. That keeps the lights on. It also allows us to get more people to, to join us, to not, not only more hosts, but also more guests like Naveed. They come in because they want to talk to you and uh, participate with their fandom. So thank you for that and keep yes. them coming. And moving on to Saul and Estes. <gasps> Saul and <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Like clash Saul. of the Titans. Yeah, that was nice, huh? Oh, my God. Yeah. Well, what I thought was so cool is that the guy who was doing the interrogation, and yeah. as John said, he had, what did he, like, he a, had a jaw. chin that could, a jaw that could slice bread. <laughs> yeah. So God. he, that guy caught the fact that Saul wasn't lying about no. the fact that there's gonna they want to take down a congressman. Yeah, but then of course he takes it off the table yeah, by he's saying, like, "Yeah, well, it's fine. I, I won't I, tell anybody." I noted it as an anomaly. It's right. an anomaly. I took it's... it off the report. Right. right. Really? And are you gonna put that in his back pocket? I mean, right. well, but uh, you know, maybe well, he I mean, doesn't want to be taken yeah, out either. I, I think right. it was on the exactly. first. I think it was on the first or second uh, episode this season. We were talking, and I mentioned that somewhere down, I hope in this season, the, the polygraph is gonna come back to bite Saul because yep. they laid it out last season, right. and uh, it was great that they did. And you know. You know, he was terrible at taking the polygraph, but he passed like crazy because he was absolutely truthful, even though he was pissed and nervous and all that other stuff. And uh, I love that they didn't have the, the other guy take the, the other guy's trying to calm him down yeah. and stab no. his, his buddy and stuff. It's a great setup. But here's the thing I don't get. He's, you know, Estes thinks he's going to, you know, I've got you now. I've got this whole playbook now, and I'm going to keep you in administration, uh, you know, for years or, or being in uh, hearings and all that other stuff. 
But Saul's just, got the whole drone thing he's cover up. Chess. So mm -hmm. it's like, what? What is he's, he gonna hold him? Did he right. forget that? Did Did Estes forget that? I Does know. He think he's got a trump card. He's what? like, I, I got, I got something on you now too. Yeah, yeah. But, that's all that is. He's just playing. But chess. exactly. But how are you gonna hold me in meetings when I've got this over here? This whole drone strike that you guys uh, tried to cover up. Yeah, I know. And he's got all the information. And I mean, I think, I think that's how they keep him in the show. Yeah, I mean, gotta be. But, but it's like, why do I don't? What I don't understand is why don't you address it then? Did, did Estes just have convenient amnesia? I know. I know. That bothered me that he he knows all of this information. What, are they going to take him out, too? Yeah. You know? I mean, because once you start doing that sort of thing, and the thing yeah, is, stop? well, the thing is, with Brody, like, it does really look like he actually is, like, he's moving on now. Like, yeah. it, I think that's going to be the sad thing when they take him down, because I'm, I'm fairly certain they're going to take him out. I don't know, mm -hmm. but it seems most likely. Mm -hmm. um, but now they've got... Like they, you, he has a chance. He has a chance to be right. happy, and he has. And he, and in the end, he didn't do well. All right, he let the vice president die. But other than that, other than the one murder. But hey, <laughs> no, there's two. Oh right, other than the, other than other the two murders. There's two. Only Actually, two. there were three. Oh well. <laughs> All right. Oh, guy, if it's all on one hand, you can count. Jungle, you count him on one hand. Count the guy them. in the forest. Let's not forget the guy in the forest. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Walker, the, the, the guy, guy in the for, uh, uh, right, forest, and, uh, right, exactly. and they're all terrorists, really, if you think yeah. about it, oh. in a way. Okay. Um, if you can count your murders Send on one hand. Send those letters to Jenna. I am right. so <laughs> kidding, guys. So Walden's kidding. Walden's a terrorist, too. Yeah, yes, in a way. Well, from their perspective. Right. From their perspective, yes. And also, yeah, also, I mean, he didn't, well, never mind. I'm going to get letters. Yeah. Oh, shut up. Paulo Priest just said, um, <laughs> mentioned that uh, that Roya's rant is how Carrie actually knew that Nazir was indeed still in that place and alive and all that. So just want to point that out. Say it again. What was that? Um, she said, um, she's talking about Roya. She says, right. but her rant is what ca got Carrie to know in her state, in quotes, mm -hmm. that Nazir was alive. Right, because of what you said there. Right. right. Absolutely. Yeah, just wanted to. Mm -hmm. and she popped that pill in the car. It was like. She, yeah, it was the pill. It was, it was did like, it. See, this it is why like kids don't do drugs. Limitless? And they would pop the, like. Uh, yes, yeah. What's his name? Mm -hmm. Brad Cooper would pop yeah. the pill and everything yeah, would just yeah. light up uh -huh. and everything was clear. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what her face looked like when she popped the pill. And she was like, it was I'm like going back, Quinn. Magic medicine. I'm going back. Yeah. He's there. <laughs> It was Neo also, in the Matrix. He take the, right. the pill and he understood That's exactly it. Right. What she did. Also, she didn't want to drive through that and intersection again. Yeah. And I have been in an accident in an intersection and had to actually stop and go a different direction. Uh -huh. So I, I, I kind of get that. Wow. She was cutting people off and everything. She's mm -hmm. a horrible driver. Yes, she is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> so <I will. laughs> anyway, she's CIA. Yeah, she can get away with it. <laughs> she can do what she wants. She gets all those tickets expunged. Exactly. <laughs> right. I was on government so, business. But what do, we, what do you think? So they've got to play that out, right? They're not going to drop that, are they? But uh, I just, I, does that, can anybody come up with a reason why he, Estes had amnesia and why Saul didn't bring it up? Like, get me out of here. It's about look, what's relevant idiot. right now. That's why. Yeah, but why doesn't Saul just go, look at you, idiot. I've got this on you. What are you going to do? Well, maybe he, I've got the whole tape. I've got recordings. I've got. Oh, well, sorry. I don't know why. Honestly, Digital I don't media. know why Estes didn't say anything. Yeah. I know why Saul didn't. I mean, at least I think. I think Saul wouldn't say anything because that's his ace. And that's, I mean, that's mm -hmm. his. Right. That's his move. He's not going to show his card. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't want to say anything now, but okay. then, you know, he could work. And, and we, we've talked about the possibility that he and Carrie could be working from outside the CIA right. next season, just as a just as a one idea. Sure. And this might be a way out and then still be able to hold things over them. Um, and they're going to use Dara Dahl. Yes, yeah, so, well, that's what I was thinking. I mean, they have to use Dara Dahl in yeah. some way. I don't know if Saul ends up working with him in some mm. way or working against him in some way, but whatever. I, I mean, it's possible that the two of them could be working from outside. I mean, because really, Carrie is not in the CIA right now. No. She's been working. Well, for one who's not in the CIA, she sure she takes has, a lot of privileges. She has access to a lot of rooms. <laughs> yes. So, she does. <laughs> I know. And she and she has authority. Like, she yeah. walks in. She's like, guys, nope, you're not yeah. leaving. Come back uh, with and me. And when she goes out on the site, she goes, wait here. Nobody leave. I'll uh, be no right back. Right. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> no one does. That's true. Did yeah. they not forget that she's the crazy? That. <laughs> No, I mean, I I wonder. Um, I mean, can she can she be reinstated? Uh, well, after what last she week did, we, we were talking about it. Yeah. And the, the thing the theory was no, she can't be. Right. But I was saying, it, it, I, I thought that if she was responsible for saving the vice president, right. that she might be able to. But she was responsible for taking down Nazir. But yeah. and, and you know, they, everybody wants a hero. So who they gonna, who's going to be the hero? She can't right. be reinstated. It's just a matter of whether it behooves Estes or not to reinstate her. Right. Yeah. Well, he wouldn't have the last Which, word anyway. So. Yeah. Right. yeah. But, but that's but why I'm I sure. wondered about Saul and Carrie working out. Outside. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, double so, black ops. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ooh. That's good. So, all right, before we get into Carrie and Brody and Jessica, let's talk a little bit more about the family. I know we talked with our caller about the family a little bit. but Dana's hissy fit. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, you said you wanted to say something about Chris. Oh, yes, okay. All right. So I just happened to see this past week. Um, mm -hmm. Somebody did a video, and I wish I could. Maybe you guys know what I'm uh, talking about. Somebody put out a video of all the times poor Chris is dismissed. He has two lines, and they tell him to leave. They're no, like, go do your homework. Chris. No, we're not finishing this. Get out. Chris. And it was just, it was a sort of, it was a montage yeah. of all oh, the times really? he's been kicked out of the room. Oh, and that's so, on lines and where? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I have so to see if, you know if I can is, find it. Let us know. It. Please write in, you know. Yeah, or tweet it at us. Tweet it. It. Yeah, tweet it. Give yeah. me screen time! It was so funny. <laughs> oh. So I was just, so I was laughing. I was just waiting this week for somebody to tell him, Chris, get out of the room. Yeah. And he's like, but I like this place. But they didn't even put the shot on him when he said it. It was just from the background. I really want to miss this place. So big TV. Like they didn't even show him. I was like, I know. And they didn't show Dana's fancy boots this week either. So no, she wasn't wearing. Them. No, well, she was. She was in her pajamas, but yeah. otherwise, I'm and sure she, she had shorts on, which might have looked weird. Yeah, yeah that's the weird. shorts were weird. I did notice that. I was like, well, what? She sleeps these? in them. You know. Okay, all right. Weird. Yeah. All right, but, but now before we, uh, the part I was really interested in was the way they did the uh, scene prior to the morning when. Um, Brody and Jess are talking, and then she, he gets a call from Carrie. Yeah. And then afterwards, and they, they didn't say anything. Of course, the look says all everything about how Jessica's thinking or what she's feeling about the call. Yeah, uh, yeah. But, I mean, she can't really... What can she really say? I mean, she just had sex with Mike. Yeah. Well, and was really guilty about it. was really... Insane. Exactly, you know, exactly. The whole thing, so. But, I mean, you know... It was fun. It yeah. was... this. I, I think that scene and then the scene in the car where they're talking... Yeah, and that, that was like, the scene. Was, it's, it's so... I mean, it was so well done because when you... I do have a breakup in, in life. Like, you... And so other people are involved and yeah. things are definitely not going to work. There's still that moment of, I'm going to say something. Please say... Please tell me I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. So when she says... And Puts her hand on his yeah, hand. That, John yeah, and I were like, I were it. It. We're going, ah, look the, at that. The hand holding thing has just been a theme the, throughout the, the season. The hand goes on the arm, that little sensor. Yep. Yep. Yeah, but I mean, I think when she says, you that's know. A, by the way, it's a great callback for anybody who's paying attention. It was. And, I, that, and again, I just go, look, that's really nice writing to have that arc come back, that right. theme come back. Yeah, I like that. And then that. you knew as soon as the hand goes off, it's over. That's it's the done. end, yeah. We're done. And I, but I think it was interesting that, that moment where Jessica says, you must yeah. really love her. Yeah. Because that, that is that moment where you're like, please tell me you don't. Please tell me you don't. Yeah, and you know, the thing it was the way she said it was great and then i also felt that you know that's how she felt once yeah and that's how he felt about jessica yeah. at one point she's all that was coming back in that moment and i thought they played that really well yeah and i think i think in terms of when you have that conversation yeah. when you have that breakup conversation both sides are really doing it tell me i'm wrong tell me i'm wrong and it was just i think it was so well played because you can see it in their eyes i mean yeah. both of them are fantastic actors yeah, and right. so you could see in their eyes both of them if like if if someone just said one thing they might be able to fix right. it, and and that was, it makes it more heartbreaking. Well, that, as soon as he, she said, "Let's are you going to go inside or whatever," and he says, "I can't." I yeah, mean, the air just went out of her. I mean, oh, it was just. She, it was the thing is, she still wants him to want that family. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Regardless of whether yeah. or not she knows she's better off with Mike or whatever, yeah. she wants him to want. Yeah. What, what he's supposed to want. Well, what they mind. what they've wanted since they were sixteen. Right. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, you're right. When she put the hand there, she's like, "So you love her?" She really, he wanted, yeah. she really wanted him to say, "Absolutely." No, yeah. it's just I, a know. thing. It was a mm -hmm. thing. It was a, it was a thing. I've been nothing. In, it's over now. Yes, I've I was been in prison for eight years for crime. Right, right. and I was in prison with Abu Nazir, and he just died, and it's all a big thing. And, and I thought that was a really interesting parallel when when he was told that Nazir died when he starts crying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because even though he like. With Carrie, like that's her enemy, but because mm -hmm. your enemy, when you hunt them so relentlessly, it becomes yeah. your main focus in your life. And in a way, that was what Nazir was for Brody. And so having mm -hmm. him gone is this huge release. Right. And, and they both have lost, in some sense, a purpose. Yeah, they have. They, they, it's like, what now? Yeah, they're adrift. And yeah. so it really, it was a, it was a really cool thing to see that mm -hmm. they both had that moment where they broke down. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, and maybe so, he knows also like once. Abu Nazir is gone. His goose is cooked as well. Yeah. I think there has to be I, I that. think he does have an awareness yeah. about that. I think that's one reason yeah. why I don't... Because uh, when he said, I can't, I, didn't, I don't think it was all about Kerry. I think he knew that I can't go... I, I, I think part of him was saying... Uh, I'm putting his family in jeopardy, and I know it. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and I mean, it, it, it'll be interesting because they definitely, there were moments with Quinn and Carrie this week. Mm -hmm. And I know that Roth and I have been saying for a long time, we think eventually that yeah. might be a thing. Um, whether it is or not, mm -hmm. their relationship is really interesting. Mm -hmm. And there were moments where, you know, you, Quinn is another one of those really weird characters where you have, mm -hmm. he's so 
awful in one sense because yeah. that's what he does for a living. In the other sense, he's trusting her when a lot of people wouldn't. Mm -hmm. And it was there were moments where he had his armor on her, or he was looking at her and told her to go home and all of that stuff where mm -hmm. you see this sort of kindness that he has toward her now. Mm -hmm. And it'll be interesting to see because now he's watching them together yeah. whether or not he chooses the moment it, he chooses to take this guy down mm -hmm. because of what it'll do to her. I oh, think he will. Oh yeah, I think but, yeah, as a soldier. Yeah, but I, yeah, yeah. but I mean, I think it yeah. was—it's just interesting, like where he chooses and to do it and how he does it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Is he gonna save her the yeah. trauma of it, or is he gonna just say no? Yeah, I'm gonna take I mean, it when he, I take it. Yeah, he has oh. to get brought the other way so he can. Right, exactly. He can <laughs> <take that one>. <laughs> <laughs> but but one more <laughs> season three. <laughs> well, one more thing that I I wanted to say about um, just that moment with with Jess yeah. is that he was gonna tell her. He was going to tell her the truth. Yeah, he was going to tell her. Yeah. At least it seemed that way. That, like that. And so, you know, I, this whole thing, I wanted it to happen when they were all in the safe house. And, they, and what's going on? You mm -hmm. don't. You told me stuff that doesn't make any sense. Would you? Would somebody please explain this to him? Now, right. again, I know as an audience, I don't want to hear because I already know it, so I don't right. need it. But I, what I wanted when he was crying about Abu Nazir, I wanted to see the faces of the family to know what they were <laughs> feeling about him breaking down. Right. Because right. it's like, here this guy is. They don't even know who he is, really. Yeah. And it's having this effect on my father and I didn't get to see how Dana's like right. that would have been great to see was Dana's reaction to that we yeah. could see Jessica's face yeah. Jessica yeah. was like Wow, there's something really serious yeah. going on. And that's that's standard. the stuff I wanted to we right. explain because your family's been through so much just give them enough so they can go Right, like I was his prisoner, I knew him, this is relief, or whatever. Something. By the yeah. way, Susie Easton um, yes. just sent me the Chris video, so I'm going to retweet it, oh, so boy. guys, if you want to you you, see it, yes, um, just, Susie Easton. <laughs> just check. Um, That's at Susie underscore. Easton. Easton, yes, and I just right. retweeted it, so. Okay, there you go. Like the Easton. So everybody check it out, bats. and you know, let's give our... Uh, <laughs> give Chris his due, so to speak. I know. Oh, it's, it's a really funny video. You'll, okay. I think you'll enjoy it. But, you know, it's like, why, why, I just keep wondering why they don't take those moments. Because they're ju just moments. They have them. They, they, they take a moment. But, I mean, the, the, you set up the whole thing with the family, and then nobody's... And then you just dropped it, and it's like... Yeah, the writers could have wrote it where they just went into a room. It's like, look, let me talk to you. you yeah, because you don't have to show the you Xbox. Show you just you know, show the response show afterwards. Exactly. She comes out, and then there's a whole... But if they did that, then obviously her understanding mm -hmm. would have gone to another level and she would have wanted to... But but that would just always cause more conflicts anyway. I mean, of course, because I think it would have anyway. And the other thing I wanted to speak about with the Dana thing is now that the vice president is dead, mm -hmm. there's no reason not to come forward. Right. That's true. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that just may happen next week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a prediction. Yeah, well, it, it's interesting because you don't know, like, if... If they, because they, they do have a goodbye to the family in a way. Because if they take out Brody, yeah. we don't necessarily ever need to see them yeah. again. Yeah. So if they leave him on, yeah. then, then that the, might be a storyline even great. for next season. Mm -hmm. mm. So, I, what do you guys think in terms of whether or not they're going to kill him off? Well, you know, I was. <laughs> I was wondering, this is going to be one of those things where there's just a shot at the end of the... Yeah. So we, he gets, I don't you know, we don't see who gets killed or whatever. So, oh, there's the cliffhanger. I mean, we don't know. I, I, don't, I have no idea, to be honest with you. I mean, do, will, 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 will season two's finale be as suspenseful and cliffhanging as season one? Uh, well, no. I'm sure they're going to try to make it that, but I, I don't know. I, here's the thing. They, they, as you mentioned, they were renewed, mm -hmm. obviously. So uh, the, the question is whether or not... I'm guessing Damien would want to come back because I think that there was some, I don't know, you would probably know better than I about there was some talk of him wanting to leave. Yeah, I've, I've heard that too. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it, you know, story-wise, it would make sense. It would yeah. make sense for him to go. If he stays, I think it would be, I don't know, I think it would upset some fans. As much as I love him, because honestly, right. he's a fantastic actor, I'd right. also love to see him in other things. But I... I think his story is played out mm -hmm. as much as, you know, I like Happily Ever After, it yeah. doesn't belong in Homeland. No. So, you know. and, and what would you do? Now, here's the thing. I think they could come up with something that's interesting, mm -hmm. but, and, and a three-season three arc would be great for right. him. Right, right. But where would you take him from here? Because, you, like, we've been talking all along, you, you, he's not going to be a congressman. Yeah. He's certainly not going to be a VP candidate, so what, what's he going to do? Yeah. And SDs want everybody, well, not everybody, but lots of people the CIA want him. Yeah. He can't out. ride off into the sunset with no. Carrie because then where where does, like, if they're happy, even if yeah, she goes back to the CIA. They can't be happy. It has to be a tragedy. Right. And also, even if Carrie does go back to the CIA, she's not, like, going to have a husband who used to be a terrorist. Like, yeah. They, they that, can't. I think that's a security risk. I don't be, think they'd allow that. That might be a problem. They might not clear then that. Then again, they allow her to interrogate. That's true. So. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's true. And they have magic. Wax. They have magic blackberries and. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine blackberries. <laughs> Carrie's gonna have to catch Quinn but, in the attempt, the assassination attempt, bump off Quinn, uh -huh. and then help, help, uh, help Brody ride off into the sunset, like send him to another country or okay. something like that, and then his character is done. So, wait, say so that for for next week, or do you mean? You, yeah, she's okay. gonna, you know, she's gonna probably catch Quinn w in the assassination attempt. Uh, so something's think... gonna tip her off. Something's gonna tip her off that they're gonna bump Brody off. Okay. They're going to have to... She's going to catch Quinn in the assassination attempt. Uh -huh. Probably kill... Thwart kill, it. Kill, and thwart it, maybe yeah. bump off Quinn herself. Okay. And then help Brody escape the so, country. And leave think, the country and he's uh -huh. going to be gone. He's done. He's off wow. the show. And he's, he has to I leave the country. I think he does. I think that would be a good way to get rid of him. They could always bring him back later if they want to. And then Damian Lewis can go have a fantastic film career. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think the dude would be a great film actor. Oh, my God. Oh, well, I he's, think he'd be amazing. I will watch him Band do Brothers. anything. Mm. Sure. That was a... I don't want to really see him on another show. Even though I would love to see him on another show. because Well, that's actor. the thing that I was thinking about. If they bring him back for a third season or if they've already decided whatever. But if they did, I mean... I. I he would, as an actor, would probably go. What can you? What? Right. What would I coming back for? It's like Andre Brower. What? Right. What would you bring him back for on Homicide? Life of right. the Street. Why right. would you bring him? You know, he goes. Unless right. you come up with something. Films. I'm, I can't figure yeah. out what I can play for. His you. agent's desk has to be flooded with offers. Yeah. Right I know. I know. But, but it would be fascinating if they tried to do it because that would. Now that's a challenge for the writing crew. Okay, how do we keep this taut? sense of intrigue uh, with a story and a character that may have been played out. How, I mean, well, how do you do that? Yeah. I mean, that's a challenge. I don't know if they want that challenge, but they certainly like the reaction that the Damien and uh, uh, Claire Danes have together. Yeah. Certain, and so does the audience. Well, I was also thinking, um, you know, again, if the if that happened as far as the renewal mm -hmm. before this script was written, and I'm just, I obviously don't know this, I'm just okay. guessing, but the last few episodes have had a lot of interaction between Quinn and Carrie, and I'm sure they've been listening to fans right. and seeing the chemistry between those two actors, um, that I think it's certainly possible that they added him in a lot more and showed more scenes of them together. And don't you think that's why he was more setup. compassionate? And, Absolutely. Yeah, okay, I so think it's, that, okay. yeah, I think it's a setup. So, I mean, because if they do have something mm -hmm. sort of start to happen between them, mm -hmm. there's always that maybe she doesn't know that it's Quinn that takes out Brody, if that yeah, is indeed what happens. and then that's happens. a secret he can never tell. Exactly, and so she'll find out at some point there's some tension and so he, he, so Brody will die and she, mm -hmm. he'll be there to help her through it exactly hmm. I don't know could happen never could happen no things like that don't happen no <laughs> Janelle, I do magic fun. blackberries That'd be fun. what do you got that is? Janelle Davis on Twitter she's at Janelle XOXO says you're the smartest <laughs> and the dumbest effing person I've ever known oh that's what Saul told her. she says LMAO she's oh. like my bad. <laughs> Right, the quote. The quote. <laughs> it's like, she's, what? she's quoting Saul. Oh, Saul. right, yeah. Saul said that to Carrie, which was really funny. Oh, yeah, and the coming ups. Yeah, that was. That was. So good. And that's kind of how I feel about her. Yeah. That she does the, but she's very bright, but then. But she's two like, people, so yeah. she is the mm -hmm. smartest and the yeah. dumbest people, all, person yeah. that we all know. Yeah. No, it's nice to have more than one personality. <laughs> <laughs> And I love the motel room quote when when, when Brody told her. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, remember how everybody how crazy everybody thinks you are? You're crazier than that. <laughs> and she smiles like, yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah, am. Yeah, thank you, thank you. So Point sweet. Of pride. Like she doesn't want to miscongeniality. Hey, you got, we all got to be good at something. Hilarity. It's true. You know? It's true. Yeah. Just a way to excel. She's brilliant at crazy. <laughs> <laughs> right, what else do we want to cover? Oh, let's talk a little bit more about the Carrie Brody thing. So, what? I, I, we, we, obviously, we were talking about whether or not there'll be happily ever after and stuff. But what about that last scene? Just that he shows up at the door, and you obviously, you know, as soon as you she, you see her looking in the mirror, and you know, I hear the doorbell, you pretty much know it's yeah. him. But does he really think? I mean, because I. Does I he thought it was Quinn for a second. To be honest, did you really? Yeah, okay. I just want to put that in there. I thought it might be. Might Quinn. have been Quinn. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm just wondering, does he really think, because I mean, you had said you know, there might be a future. Right. And, you know, earlier in the series, uh, this season, she had said, I think the way, this is the way out for both of us. Right. And I don't know why she ever said that, because does she really think there's a way out for him? I think, I think. I mean, do they, are they just in denial because they want it to be so I much? I think it was hope, honestly. Okay. I think it's just hope. Hope's because, yeah, that. you have to have hope for something. And honestly, yeah. I think after everything that he went through, and as he's finally about to unburden himself with Jess, she's like, I don't want to know. Yeah. Does, does Carrie know everything? Yeah. So I think that's just, that's sort of a, a grasping thing. Because, I mean, think about what Nazir's death does to him on so many levels. It was his friend. This is a guy who got him into all kinds of trouble. This is mm -hmm. a guy who made him into a terrorist. I mean, all there's got to be so much conflicting emotion, and the 
only other person who's going to feel the loss of Nazir as deeply as he is, well, yeah. and on so many levels, is Carrie. Yeah. So that's what I think they've done a fabulous job of keeping those things intact. Yeah. They both have those. Well, they're, they're both psychotic in a sense. I yeah. Mean, they, they, you know, that dual <laughs> duality that they're going through. Crazy love. Yeah, and they both have this uh, sense of the Nazir thing and how much it's been a part of their persona. Yeah. Either to to catch him or to, you know, well, to, he was basically. Um, Brody's God in a way brought yeah. him back from nothing, created him, molded yeah. him. So uh, th that's how that's what's kept them two together, uh, and they've done a great job of keeping that going. Which is you can see why they should end up together, but they, of course they can't. But that's nope. what they, you know, uh, they can't be blind to that. Yeah. Well, you know, one of the things I think that sort of happened in TV in recent years is that I think that. Um, Producers, directors, writers are all getting the idea that it is okay to kill people off mm -hmm. and that sometimes when a storyline has oh jumped God, a shark yeah. or ended, I mean, look at Game of Thrones. Um, yeah. If you haven't watched it yet, I'm not going to say who. Justified. Yeah, I mean, they do yeah. it constantly yes, now. No they, one, yeah. yeah, no one no is one safe. Is safe. Exactly. And I, in fact, I remember being given the Game of Thrones book and told that no one is safe and it was so shocking back then. But yeah. now I think it's really important that, mm -hmm. that you can say, okay, this storyline is played out. Mm -hmm. Let's end it. Yeah. And you know, I think that's great. If yeah. you're a writer, that's great. Yeah. Because you can't, you don't get the rest on your laurels. Yep. You got to keep coming, bringing it. Yeah. Gina so. Davidson. Okay. <laughs> what did Gina have to say? <laughs> At worn out mum hack. <laughs> okay. All right. What did the so, worn out mum hack have to say? This is seriously too much stress for a Sunday night. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you can't I record totally it, watch it, watch it Monday afternoon. You know, you can't do that. So. I know. Yeah, it's it's really too much hilarious. for you. <laughs> yeah. That was good. Yeah, there's some funny comments on here. All right, people well, are really tuned into the show. It's amazing. Right, we we talked a lot about uh, what's going to happen next week, but we got to bring our predictions anyway. So let's get into it. Not only and for now, next week, you're but we'll talk about TV predictions. Ooh. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sir Richard Rentworth, for that. Um, yeah. So okay. So next week we saw the coming ups. What do we think? Wow. God. Um. So do we think, oh, let's just start with the body. I think it's Nazir. I think it's Nazir, too. Yeah. I okay. think it's Nazir. Um, although there was a Who shot of Dana's face yeah. looking horrified, obviously watching television. Uh -huh. I don't know if that's when they take Brody down. Mm -hmm. But why did they bury him and see? He wasn't a naval. Oh no no oh, no! I still think it's I think it's oh, okay. his body. Right, I just think right. that I, I think that we still that still means that I still think Brody's getting taken out or Got something okay. big is happening because yeah. her face there was mm -hmm. just you know that's what else could be on the news at this point. Well yeah I mean that so, would do that to her. That yeah that's true that that's true that's true. Yeah yeah. So but or, yeah I do or, think or, it's, or at least the idea that he may have been killed. Right. Whether or not, yeah, yeah that's it's true. Killed, that's you know, true. You never know. And I mean, it is. Possible. I mean, and they may leave that open because they might. Okay, he signed on, but we don't know what to do yet. So let's get him shot, and if we have to kill him, we'll kill him. <laughs> right. Exactly. Exactly. But also, I think it's Nazir's body because it's in. It was done in white. Yeah. That, um, yeah. I don't think that. Not I, just I burial at question, sea, but. but yeah. I mean, because the thing is, if if Brody dies, like the, he still has a family who's going to want to see the body, yeah. and not a lot of people know that. So like, he wouldn't be a martyr. Yeah. I don't. And I don't think they would do that anyway because they they had the. They they haven't put out that he's a terrorist. Nobody right. knows, really, except the, the few that do. So they would probably bury him. Yeah. yeah they, may not, uh, they may not bury him in Arlington, but you know, <laughs> yeah. they, they would probably turn the body over. And I think they yeah. did show it wasn't his ear that they were wrapping. I think they showed his body. Yeah. Right. Oh, did they? I think so. Okay, I missed and that then part they, of And it. then they showed his body, and then oh, okay. they, then they right. covered it with the white shirt. So obviously, but Saul is obviously out. He's not uh, apprehended. He's not under custody. He's not, so he, because he's walking around talking to, you know, telling Carrie how smart and stupid she is. Yep. So he's, you know. Right. Clash So maybe he does bring up his thing about, yeah, like, yeah, I that. know shit. So yeah. <laughs> don't mess with me. And that, which I, and I hope he does, because that's another great scene that he gets to tell Estes to fuck off. I know right. Estes. Ugh. Sure. Ugh, Estes. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. I'm going to have to go on the Estes on fan base because you know, nobody likes Estes. I'm going to have to be the sole one out there that does. No. So, yeah. You don't like him. No, I don't. But okay. somebody should be rude for him. I mean, I mean here's the he's thing trying about to do Estes. his job. Here's the thing about Estes. You, he, he overdoes his job. Yes. Well, that's, that's Yeah, he's a narcissist. That, that's, he's, he overdoes his ambitious. job. Ambitious. Mm-hmm. 
you know, it's like it's like the person you go to the movie theater yeah. and you see you have the ticket already. You go inside. And I was like, oh, let me go back outside of the rope because I gotta, you know, mm-hmm. whatever. Bring my friend in. They make you show the ticket again, even though they just saw you walk uh-huh. back out. That kind of person. Oh, you need your ticket. I'm sorry. You're gonna have to your ticket. That's, that's a really good description that of guy. him. <laughs> he's that guy. He's, he's the guy who overdoes his job. He's like, ticket dude, guy. You just saw me walk right. I, you know, I'm. I already paid for my ticket. Yeah. <laughs> he's that dude. <laughs> who? That's why people. That's why you don't like him. He, he overdoes his job. Yeah. You, that's why you want to smack him. Mm-hmm. But then you can't say he's not doing his job. You can't say he's. Well, that's the thing. That's my argument he, has been is because he's like, he is clearly doing his job. Right. I mean, right. He's doing his job. Whether we the way he does it, the, his personality, we may not like it, and everything, but he's still doing what he's supposed to do. I mean, right. it's not. It's not like he's falling down on the job just to be ambitious. Right. I still want to know if he had dinner with Roya. Well, yeah, well, they didn't let on at all. <laughs> no. Hey, maybe Saul saw the dinner. That's, hey, I, I that's don't know. Good. I'm just making that up. I right, just, I'm yeah. just curious. Maybe they bring it up next week. They could. They probably won't, yeah. but they could. They got to bring Dara Dahl back for next week. Something has to be. Yeah, well, he's, something major I thought for has to sure he would week. be part of this I, in some fashion. I don't know. I mean, they that may just have been a setup for season three, for all yeah. we know. Although, if the assassination happens next week, mm-hmm. he may be part of it. Or yeah. he may be... I mean, the cliffhanger might be about him. It might yeah. be about what he knows, and I don't know. Well, I, it would be a good setup if it, if it was. I mean, bring him... I mean, I would I would do it. Bring him back in, at least for some... Remind us. I think they will. Oh, I yeah. love F. Murray F. Abraham. Murray. The bring man is awesome. So how does he get killed? What? Brody's killed, right? Oh, you think yeah. he gets killed? I'm, I'm just um, how do they do it? I don't know. I don't know because I think this is such a big opportunity. There's mm-hmm. so many things. I mean, just just to have him taken out with a mm-hmm. sniper bullet. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if it'll just be well, that. Well, you know, they say, he, he was injured. They so, he showed that, so mm-hmm. they, something happened to him. We don't know what it was. Yeah. So I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I think I feel like there needs to be something bigger so, if they're gonna take him down. So Thaddeus, are you on the bandwagon of he's taken out? He's done. No, he's dead. He's, he's not taken out. Okay. So something think, is gonna happen. So I you think by the end of the happen. episode he's still alive? He he's still alive. Okay, but he has to escape. He he knows black ops was like, oh, they're gonna take me out. So he has he, to be gone. He has to flee. He has to, be gone. he has to flee the country. Mm-hmm. They might have to make up the story that he's actually dead. Carrie's gonna have to cover for him because uh-huh. she loves him so much. Mm-hmm. She can't stay here, and then he has to bounce. That could happen. And that then could they could happen. always bring him back later. Mm-hmm. Then they could always bring him back later if a couple of his movies mm-hmm. don't do at the box office. <laughs> <laughs> Which I don't pragmatism. think will happen, Damien. I think your movie's going to be blockbuster. <laughs> and I'm going to come see him. <laughs> Me too. Row, center. I want to hear his real accent. All right. Yeah, his real accent is great. It is. Yeah. All right, do, do the drone strikes get to the public? The cover-up that the Estes and uh, Walden were doing. Does anybody have any idea about that? Do you think that ever comes out? I don't know. No, I don't think, I think so. I think I think with Saul I think and that Estes, story's played out. Then huh? it's going to be one of those things where they constantly mm-hmm. are one upping each other and yeah. they're constantly keeping each That's other. That's what in I check. think. I think wh- why would you take those titans out? You know, put one in the sidelines. Yeah, yeah. you got to have them fighting each other. You have to. That's what makes yep. great TV. Why, yeah. why sideline one of them? Yeah. So you got to keep those things going. Plus, their feud actually is what feels that makes everything work. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. And, you know, but we're, okay. So let's talk Quinn real quick. So do you? Yeah. You know, I, I think that was a great thing that he might uh, have to take out Brody and then uh, you know help carry through that process and then be there uh, in his stead, so to speak. She needs a new crazy guy. Yeah, exactly. Well, I, think, I think Quinn's then, gonna get bumped off. You think so? Really? I don't think so. I think he's too intense. But he's pretty. I, I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Sorry, I, I think we're the, producer, here. I had to say the that. producers are listening. They're going, man, we're not going to bump that guy. The ladies like him too much. We do. do. Yes, I, we do. I, I think he's, I think he's too too intense, and his job is black ops. Like, really, what? I just well, see. That's why I think they're going to use him because I think somehow, since she's not really with the CIA, and I don't really, I don't buy her getting back in the CIA. I think it's going to go the black ops route somehow. Mm-hmm. And he's and still then, working with Dardal. There you go. And then, since we already know that he's a field agent and really has all that history, I think they're going to use that. Yeah. So, and I think I mean, that's where they're going to. Mm. They're, I think they're going to be able to mine a lot of stuff there. Yeah. A lot of we'll grist see. for the mill there. We'll see what happens. I, so, I think because you know it was just... great to see her on the field in the beginning of the season. Yeah. No, it was. So. Anybody that opposes Carrie is going down. Yeah, but that, I, that, I just <laughs> think that's the formula of the show, baby. It's the formula of the show. Because whoever, <laughs> now I don't know if they're going to go this route, but let's say whoever is working with Nazir, or was working with Nazir, so to speak, <laughs> uh, they're going to be looking for retribution. They're going to be mm-hmm. trying to find this out. And, and they're, I'm, uh, what better way to find the next person through, through Dar Adal or uh, whoever Nazir was working with to rise up? Quinn recruits Carrie for Black Ops. Yeah. Yep. What happens to Roya Hamad next week? Next week, I, I don't even think she's part of it. I don't week. think we see her again. 
You think she's done? And now that she mm-hmm. went bad shit, we especially that movie. <laughs> mm-hmm. So we sent her to Guantanamo as a rap. Pretty much. Well, yeah, I don't know what else to do with her. I mean, I, w- I mean, they could come up with something, but yeah. I don't see anything. Unless, so. unless there's something about her and Essie's, and I don't think they'll do that. No. I mean, other than other than that, I can't see what else they could do with her. Well, there but you it have be, it. Yeah, it would be. Yeah, see her go crazy again. <laughs> Just one more time, one more crazy from Roya. <laughs> All right, before we get out of here, please let everybody know where they can hear you or see you, talk to you. All right, you can find me on Twitter at Jenna Bush, B-U-S-C-H, like the beer, not the president. You can find me on fanhattan.com with an F, and you can find my show with Stan Lee on uh, youtube.com slash world of heroes. You can find me on Twitter at Club Thaddeus, C-O-U-B-T-H-A-D-D-E-U-S. See me here Tuesday nights, Vegas, after buzz, 11 p.m. Oh, and since we mentioned it earlier, I'll be doing Justified coming in January. So all the Justified fans, t- tune into that. We'll have a good time there. We've always had the first two, three seasons. Has it been two? I don't even remember, but it's been great. So please uh, tune in for that. And on behalf of Jenna and Thaddeus and Martin in the booth, we want to thank you for listening, and we'll talk to you next time. From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. 